Uh, good evening. I just wanted to give a quick, real quick update on the Project Solar project. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm sitting in my living room just doing this update. Um, uh, I, this was a few weeks ago. I uh, had a meeting with my onboarding consultant and we went over the design. Initial design had it only a third of the size I was intending, so we, um, I had them draw, re, re, redesign it with panels in the front, which would require me to remove a tree, which is actually going to be cut down in this this uh, Friday. The tree is actually a, a birch tree that's past its life, and um, I'll, I'll actually insert a picture here, um, but basically it's just a really old birch tree that we were actually thinking about taking down anyway. Um, so once that was sorted out, we finalized the design. Um, they drew up the engineering plans. I'll do some screenshots of that. I don't want to share too much because they list that it's confidential. I don't want to get in trouble or anything. Um, but I'll just take bits and pieces of it. Basically it's a it shows the design of how it's how the uh, panels will be on the roof, how the wiring is all going to be, and they uh, inc also include some um, some basically like brochure type stuff, information about the individual pieces like the panels, the racking, the um, junction box, the microinverters, all that stuff. Um, but basically, we're going to be having 23 N phase, sorry, 23 um, Q cell, Q peak duo, G10 plus, uh, uh, 395 watt panels, 23 of them, and N phase IQ7 plus microinverters, iron ridge racking, and uh, I'll, I'll put I'll put up the the uh, design quick and basically it's going to have a few panels on the as many panels as we can fit on the south side of the roof and then most of the panels will be on the main front roof and then some a few few more on the garage. Um, this should cover about from from what their estimate was about 105 percent of our usage and um, that's ideal because I wanted to be able to cover everything. Um, the design process went pretty smooth. I was then I signed a purchase agreement. Basically, the, it says that once we finalize the design um, and the they they draw up the engineering plans, then they're going to submit the permitting. And once all that's finalized and we get approval, um, then I pay for the actual rest of it, and um, they'll ship the stuff and we do the install. Um, at this point. I got notification that the building permit that they submitted for me was approved. Um, I'm doing the I'm doing the install. So, um, but up at this point, I needed to. Um, I, I haven't heard what they said from the power company, but basically they 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 got I got conflicting information from my local. Um, assessment office or uh, inspection office I mean and the uh, and project solar they were getting different information I ended up calling and then pushing a little harder and basically they said that the power company requires an electrician to sign off on the project it would be a master electrician be listed on the permit um, I have a friend who is willing to do that for me um, I'm still going to be doing the majority of the work he's going to just make sure everything is done correctly and he he just wanted to kind of be involved in the solar project because he has he hasn't had had that experience yet. So I, I should be able to do pretty much all of it myself. Um, it's pretty straightforward. But because it's a, the, the power company considers considers it a new service, they require a master electrician to be involved. Um, so at this point, I'm I just filled out the the. Uh, permit form and sent it over to the electrician and he's going to look at it, look it over and make sure that his information is correct and all that. So we're going to go from there, but, um, yeah, so I just want to give that update. I did, there was, I, I was so far pretty impressed with Project Solar. Unfortunately with the electrician thing or then the permit, it was a little bit forced me to do some more work. Um, but they still do it, did a good job drawing up the engineering plans and updating them when 
we got some information that needed them not, that made, made them seem like they need to be updated, um, things like that. So I, I've been happy with with that process, and uh, my project manager, who who I was handed to after the initial design onboarding phase, has been pretty responsive, um, and I have no complaints so far. Um, if you're if you're uh, in the same boat as me, you want to do a DIY install, or if you want to do a full install, they have that too. Um, you can I can I have a link in my in the description if you want to learn more and potentially start start with them. Um, it is a fill, an affiliate link or like a referral link, so I get a little I get a bonus for that. But um, so far, I've been impressed, and uh, we'll uh, give another update here soon. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and I can maybe address them in the future. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening and watching. See you later.